Onik Esports, from Indonesia as an organization, had its extreme highs and low lows when it comes to their history with the MSC. They were the most dominant team of 2019, flying to Manila as the Five Kages. Drian led the squad that won 12 out of their total 13 games en route to the MSC Championship. They were unstoppable, and anybody in the world of Mobile Legends feared the sound of their name. Fast forward to 2022, all its MSC champion players already left the organization except Drian, the last Kage. Although very successful in MPL Indonesia Season 9, which gave them their ticket to Kuala Lumpur, the Yellow Hedgehogs didn't even manage to reach the playoffs, a feat that sparked a lot of scrutiny against the long-standing esports organization. Bowing out of the tournament too early, being taken out by the Myanmar and Malaysian teams in the group stages was enough of a driving force to revamp the squad. It wasn't a total revamp, however, because all they needed to do was to absorb important pieces from their Philippine team. The future of MPL Philippines, arguably the best young young prodigy, Kyrie, together with his sensei, the charismatic coach Yeb, flew to Jakarta to bolster the Onik Esports squad and to destroy the competition in the region. Oh, and destroy it they did. The improvements of the Onik Esports squad were sky high. They've dominated their first season together, grabbing wins back and forth, securing awards for their jungler, and ultimately winning the championship. Season 10 was also Kyrie's season, bagging the finals MVP, regular season MVP, and MPL ID's first team jungler award. M4 was the next stop, the next international tournament to test their mettle. Unfortunately, they bowed out of the tournament, again earlier than expected, as they were outclassed by their fellow Indonesian team, RRQ Hoshi. Again, another heartbreak for the big organization. But we can't forget that Kairi Hayabusa play. Come MPL Indonesian Season 11, they only did few, but rather big changes. Now, Coach Yeb took full helm as the head coach, and the results spoke for themselves. Onik Esports only lost one series during their 14 series stretch during the regular season, and never lost a game all throughout the playoffs en route to their back-to-back -back championship. Kyrie was deemed godly as the jungler and every single one of his teammates carried their own weight as the deities of the MLBB world in Indonesia. After destroying the competition in their region, it's now time to fully show what they're worth as they take center stage in the upcoming Mobile Legends Southeast Asia Cup. Will they bring their international tournament's curse this time? Or will it be their second MSC title? One thing's for sure, this year they will give all they got. They will give it all to prove that Diata Selangit Ada Onik. Above the sky lies Onik Indonesia. Stay tuned for the next team to be covered on the road to MSC in 180 seconds.